If you're a nutrition coach that wants to get more paying clients, then you're probably already posting on social media. But between short form video content and posting client testimonials, you're probably overlooking this one type of content, which can be more effective than anything else when it comes to converting followers into paying clients. And that is Instagram stories. Instagram stories are one of the most underrated features of that platform. And when used correctly, it is gonna get you more coaching clients and start more conversations than anything else. Which is why today I'm gonna to show you exactly what to post on Instagram stories to land paying clients, starting with number one behind the scenes content. The best way to use Instagram stories is to give a behind the scenes look into your life. If you've used Instagram or Facebook before, you've definitely seen the floating heads at the top of your app, that when you click on them, you almost get a mini reality TV show from your favorite creators. Now those are Instagram stories. Now you may be wondering how does showing my breakfast or a silly meme of a dog, how is that gonna get me nutrition clients? Well, it all comes down to one of the most important aspects of social media, which is connection. Remember, on social media, people wanna be social and they wanna feel connected to real people. And that's one of the factors that have made social media influencers blow up over the last decade. No longer are your favorite celebrities hidden in a cloud of mystery, only showing who they really are in an interview or bloopers at the end of a movie. With social media, and particularly Instagram stories, you get that behind the scenes look of the day-to-day -day life of the people that you follow. This non-curated, organic, behind-the-scenes look builds connection. And we start to see ourselves in them and we are inspired by their lifestyle. And if we really enjoy a certain creator, watching their stories becomes a part of our daily routine, which leads us to clicking on their stories the moment that we open up our app, just to see what they're up to or what knowledge or motivation that they're gonna share with us today. And this is why it is so important for nutrition coaches to use Instagram stories. Because at the end of the day, people don't buy coaching programs, they buy coaches. And in order to do that, they need to feel connected to you and your mission and your personality. And that behind the scenes look is going to do that. Now you may be thinking, doesn't my content, the content that I post and still post and videos already do this? In a way, yes, your content should be displaying your personality and your unique outlook on nutrition and fitness. But typically your feed content content, which is your actual social media content that you post to your page that lives there forever, will be more carefully planned and curated with a specific intent. This content is typically more professional and edited and condensed around a specific topic. And you need this stuff because it's clearly going to show who you help, how you help them and grow your audience. But your story content is going to take your audience even deeper, showing the unedited version of your life that adds to a greater picture of who you are as a person and a coach. And more importantly, that you practice what you preach, adding credibility to the tips and strategies that you're sharing in those feed posts. When you add all of this together, that's gonna quickly build that know, like, and trust factor with your potential clients, leading to more coaching applications and turning those into more paying clients. Let's talk about the type of stuff you can actually post for this behind the scenes content. I like to break it down into three main categories. Number one, aspirational. When we think of the word aspirational, it means that someone's looking up to aspects of your lifestyle and they wanna make it their own. And aspirational stories are gonna show people what their life could look like if they follow your lead and follow what you have to say and do. For our potential clients, this may be a lean, toned body or the ability to get through a tough workout without pain or having a consistent routine so they don't just keep stopping and starting their weight loss journey. Whatever your client's goals are, what you wanna be doing is showing them how you're living the life that they want every single day. And through doing this, you're showing them what's possible. So share that post-workout selfie, show them what you're having for breakfast after your workout, or a short video of what you're meal prepping for the entire week. The best part of this process is this can be really simple. No need for fancy editing, just take a picture or take a video and then post it. Now the second type of behind the scenes content is number two, knowledge based. Your Instagram stories are also a great place to showcase your coaching expertise. You can share quick tips to help your audience reach their goal or expand on a topic that you just posted about, adding more context and more detail or making it more strategic. This is probably one of the easiest ways to get ideas for Instagram stories. Let's say you just posted about the best protein sources for fat loss. After that post is up, you can highlight it on your stories and then talk about it in more detail. Maybe you share a quick recipe using one of those foods or share an extra food, one that you forgot or one that's an honorable mention. Sharing some extra knowledge here will show your potential clients that you're the person that can help them. 
And the last behind the scenes category is number three, lifestyle content. Now, while you are running a business, if you're super serious all the time, your clients are gonna have a hard time connecting with you and finding you relatable. And this is where lifestyle type content will come into play and help build that connection. Lifestyle content usually isn't directly nutrition or fitness related, but it gives your followers more of an insight into who you are and what you believe. Anything that your clients would enjoy or find interesting is fair game. A good example of this would be sharing a moment from your day that's gonna be relatable to your audience. Let's say your audience is primarily busy working moms. You can share a funny story that's relatable from the school drop-off line. Or maybe your audience is primarily men in their 40s and 50s, and you just heard an awesome 80s workout tune that pumped you up on the way to the gym, you could share that. This type of content should be natural and fun, so don't be afraid to make jokes, and be yourself because that's what your audience wants to see. The possibilities with behind the scenes content are endless and it's really important to showcase this aspect of yourself in your Instagram stories. Now let's move on to a type of Instagram story that's really good at taking people from curious and converting them into paying clients. And that's gonna be hand raising content. Your primary goal with the stuff you post as a nutrition coach is going to be as follows. Number one, to get people talking to you or applying to work with you. And while this may seem as straightforward as putting a post up saying, apply to work with me, you may have noticed this doesn't always work all the time. And that's because for the majority of our potential clients, they need to be warmed up first. And we warm up these people by getting them to identify themselves through hand raising content. Now, I don't want you to just go and randomly message all of your followers, like what goals do you have? You wanna flip the script and get them coming to you. And you do this by getting on their level and staying curious and asking questions about what they're going through and what they want to achieve. So you can get on your stories and ask a direct question like, what do you feel is holding you back from reaching your weight loss goal? Or you can take this to the next level by using some of the features that Instagram stories already has to make this process so much smoother and more engaging. One of those is gonna be the question box feature. This feature allows you to ask a question to your followers and get real live feedback and answers. You can ask questions that relate to your potential client's goals, like what are the hardest aspects for losing weight? Or tell me one thing that you're doing this week to reach your nutrition goals. Once you start getting responses, you can add them to your story and add your own commentary or directly message the responder and start a conversation with them. The next feature is called story polls. This is when you can ask a question and start to provide responses in a multiple choice format. Keep asking questions about your client's goals and their workouts and their nutrition or even ask them to give you some insight on content ideas so you can continue to help them. One of my favorite questions to ask as a nutrition coach is what is the toughest aspect of losing weight? Is it the nutrition? Is it the workouts? Is it busy? Is it something else? When you ask these questions, you actively get people to raise their hand. They have the problem, here's how you can help them. And from there you can build a relationship with them and you also get some ideas for social media content, which is gonna be a win-win. Use these features to start building a relationship with your audience, do it right away. Now just because your stories act as a more behind the scenes look into your life as a nutrition coach, it doesn't mean that you can't use it to promote your coaching service, in fact you need to. But there are some better ways to do this so your Instagram stories don't look like one giant ad. Which leads us to our last content type, number three, a call to action. If you're not promoting your nutrition coaching on your stories, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Because the people that view your stories and keep coming back, they're gonna be the warmest form of leads. They're interested in what you have to say. They find value in the things that you're posting. And they've essentially included you as a part of their day-to-day -day routine. But you have to give them the opportunity to work with you to go from just following along to actually taking action. And you need to remind them that you offer nutrition coaching and that you have the solution to their problems and will help them reach their goals. But you have to do this the right way because the charm of Instagram stories is that it's more raw and relatable. And if you're constantly promoting your coaching, you start to lose some of the charm that makes it so powerful in the first place. So here's the exact strategy that I use to promote my nutrition coaching on my stories. First, ideally you're already posting behind the scenes content and engagement type content every single day. Even if it's just one to two short stories, you need to be doing this daily. Then on one to two days per week, I want you to start creating some content and some stories around client testimonials or client wins. This can be before and after pictures, but it also can be text testimonials or even sharing a conversation that you had with a client about some of their success. Then once you've shared these results, you can also create a slide that shows people how they can take the next step to work with you if they found some value in what you shared or they found it relatable. If this sounds like you, click the link to my application right here. 
and I'll be in contact with the next steps. If you wanna use the exact schedule I recommend for Instagram stories, you can find it right here. Feel free to pause here and take a screenshot so you can use this schedule for your own Instagram story content. And that's it folks, by having the right level of behind the scenes and engagement content, while sprinkling in how to work with you, you'll have a dedicated audience that's excited to hear what you have to say every single day. And they will think of you as a go-to coach for them simply by using Instagram stories and showing up that way. By using Instagram stories, you'll start more conversations with potential clients, get more nutrition coaching applications, and land more paying clients. And maybe the most rewarding thing, you're gonna build a like-minded community of individuals all on your social media by posting simple, low-effort content that takes no time to make. So stop sleeping on Instagram stories and use the schedule that I've outlined in this video to start creating Instagram stories to help you land paying clients and grow your business. Now as good as all those tips are, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'll have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. Today we talked about Instagram stories, but maybe you wanna check out my entire social media strategy. I'm gonna explain that to you in the video right here, so check it out now and I'll see you in the next video.